Were you afforded any privileges? I don't believe so. I, you know, outside of the fact that I've always been a work-driven man, um, I was already, you know, pretty much hard-working even before I got into my relationship. I always got up and went after it. And when I met her, if anything, I instilled that mentality into her to just, you know, she knew that I, how I'm going to get it, she got to get it just as much, if not more. And, um, Advantages? Nah, man. For my, for me, everything that I get, I gotta work super hard for it, and it's still coming slow. And I'm almost even on a, on a, back end of it. So it's like I don't get into the next time. You know, you know, for me, that's just my life. I, there's no, there's no easy way out. There's no cutting corners. There's no advantages. You gotta go out there and you gotta either study, work, or, or you know, you can't get it the wrong way. You gotta get it the right way. And, um, so no, I don't believe that it's you know having a uh, as far as social no even even right now no people are not gonna even be outside looking at you yeah they may like you oh yeah they're cute or what have you and they may you may have a little bit more social status but a lot of it is superficial just because it's the outside front out outside looking in but a lot of people they don't want to have nothing really to give you no advantages or no perks just because you're with somebody that's outside your race. Mm. I, I think I, I disagree. I think it, I well I experienced yeah, the yeah, um, yeah. advantages, right? Like, but like you said, not on a social level, right. not on like any sort of grand so scheme, no, no, but no like financial or promotions or anything like that. No, nothing no. like that. It's more like oh, we in Whole Foods, and yeah, y'all want some free samples, right? And we're like oh, here, let me give you an extra. Like people are just a little bit nicer, right? Just a little bit nicer. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, it's okay, just okay. like because I think that's sort of like that initial sort of like is washed the away. Inti- what, what, the intimidate, yeah, yeah. right? Like because I'm a big guy, right? So a big black dude, right? Like walking up <laughs> mm-hmm. in Whole Foods or wherever it's at, right? Um, I think that is eased when you know next to me is this mm-hmm. you know white woman, tall white woman. You know, I think people, people at least see a way in, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, even if I couldn't talk to him, I can at least talk to her. And if he's talking to her, he must be. He must be cool. He He must be at least cool, right? Like, I feel like that. So it was, yeah, people just being nicer, generally. Mm -hmm. That could backfire too. I could could agree with that because like I said, they're nice, but with the, with an agenda, you know, they're like, okay, you know, and I probably experienced some similar perks. Mm-hmm. To that to that extent, where it's like, okay, people are a little bit more friendly to you. They're more, hey, hi, how are you? You know, and it's like, okay, okay. You know, <laughs> right, right. You normally say hi to me, but okay, you see me with her, so okay, hi. You know, you know, it's pretty weird stuff, but yeah, I could, I could, I could definitely understand that in that context. But then it's the reverse too, right? Because some people are just like crazy rude because they see you. Right. Well, no, I would say for you in particular. I mean, I, I've. Being with a uh, Caucasian woman or a white woman, I mean, I would, I would definitely see other white men that being very just inferior. Mm-hmm. Like, damn. It, it, oh, you've seen that before. I, I mean, I, I, you could tell. You mm-hmm. could tell when. I mean, they'll they'll look at her and then look at you know they'll look at her eye like why are you with him or and then they'll look at you and they won't even acknowledge you. Mm-hmm. And I think it's generational too, right? Because like I feel like older white men are definitely aggressive. Oh, okay. Right? right. They 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 mm-hmm. look at you and. Or they don't recognize, yeah. acknowledge yeah, yeah, you at all, acknowledge right? You. Younger ones? Younger ones are like, bro, right? Like, dude, <laughs> what's up, man? Right? Like, they trying to make a connection. They trying to make a connection, <laughs> right? Because it's like, because I, I think people are always trying to access the, like, coolness of them, right. Right? right? Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah, right. Yeah, no, you and, right. Yeah, and so when they see the end. Or, Yeah, they want to definitely relate to that. They want to relate to that. Um, kind of just that street cool mentality. They want to get on your level as mm-hmm. far as they want some of that juice. So they want some of you to rub off on them. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so were you ever called a sellout? Never. Never? Never. Not explicitly, but like I said, with the, the uh, example at the Christmas thing, right? Like, my friend was like, sisters must, you know, oh, all right, be upset right. with you, right? Like, I think that is a way of being like, yeah, you, you sell it out, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> right? How did you actually handle it? What did you say to her? What I I mean I I, I don't remember to tell you the truth. I, I was probably like, yeah, I I think they are. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is definitely the case, right? Um, and uh, yeah, I had a a really 
uh, I don't want to say intense back and forth with one of my best friends mm -hmm. uh, about this this very thing, right? Because you know, they have your best interest at heart, of course, right? Yeah, yeah. And so when they see you in the future, and they like, because I wasn't married and never got right, engaged, right. but when they think about your future, I do think they think about like what your family's going to look like mm -hmm. and, and what your life is going to look like and how that's going to be right. like with a, a partner that's not your same race. Yeah. Um, and then they also want, I mean, people, people want to see black love. Right, right, right. right. Like, yeah. People right. need to see right. black love. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and so when the potential for it is like gone in a black man who you think is like <clears throat> crossed over to the, right. you know, the other side, um, they, you know, they're upset, they're hurt. Yeah. And I get that for sure. Well, I, I could, I could, I could definitely understand that. I have I had a friend Curtis, and his his mom and his dad. I mean, they're they're very cultural based. I mean, you go in their house, they got books on Africa. They got you know they they, they go to the Kuma Fest every time. Her dad. I mean, they, they have his dreads and they play the nine binky drums every time. I used to go over there. They used to always just have some book or something fruitful, you know, speaking of of our culture. You mm -hmm. know, keeping it on the forefront. And I remember I was, I, I was uh, even before I even married my soon to be ex, I was going through something with her, and he kind of was like, you, to, you know, kind of let her go. You know, you're, mm -hmm. he could see me kind of going down this road of mind games with her just because of her little cute looks. And it's almost like, yeah, he did, you know, kind of kind of forewarn me about her in a way, you know. And it's like, I, I know way I see what he's saying now because it's like, you, I mean, fast forward it, um, I was at some function, I went to some party bus or whatever, and it was just nothing but sisters. I was just like, wow. And they were like, I was like, wow, you know, these sisters are fine as heck. And they were just sitting there, I'm like, you know, <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? And I was lo I was loving sisters. I was like, I never didn't. I mean, and then even, even up to now, like I have a beautiful interracial kid. My daughter is beautiful. But I often even said to myself, I want to have a black kid. Mm -hmm. kid that's, that looks like me straight up you know yeah. what I mean so yeah. I could teach him about this world and you know just see more blackness and that always on the forefront because she said she didn't want to have another kid so I mean definitely I was like it's one of those things you do your, your subconsciousness about it is, is pretty high mm -hmm. particularly about children yeah you know because I don't know what your experience was before you had a kid but like mine before like envisioning what my children would look mm -hmm. like with this woman mm -hmm. I was like mm -hmm. There was a part of me that was like, that I do want to have a black family, right? right? And I probably would have said it was a black family. <laughs> like, well, black right, family. right, with your black relationship. <laughs> but, <laughs> but like visually, right? Because those right. visual markers are important. Mm -hmm. um, but then on the other hand, I was like, oh, but they don't. Society will be yeah, like, oh, some beautiful yeah. children, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the whole there's the whole thing on on Facebook and all that stuff, the mixed race babies mm -hmm. and stuff, like yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah. Like people love it, people right? Love exactly, it. and they are beautiful kids. I mean, yeah. I mean, like my daughter is super beautiful. And then you take that stigmatization that once you do have uh, a, a black family, whether it's a baby, <coughs> baby boy or whatever, you got to have that whole police brutality talk with them. Right. This stuff that's really not attractive or not really like. Things that you want to have to talk to about your children, where you you have to talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. so, Man. It's pretty, pretty, you know, it's pretty. It kind of sobers you up pretty good. Yeah, definitely. I think they're really well. I don't know. I don't want to. No, no, no. Please, please, please. I mean, I think it, again when you talk about like the way kids are raised, right? Particularly. Um, me and my girlfriend talk about this, or I have talked about this in the past, like the way young black boys and young black girls are raised, it's almost like they're raised not to be compatible with right, each other. Right, right. You know, like, it, it's it's really strange. And so that's also something that you have to combat, right? right like, right. talking about, yeah, raising your kids, showing them what love is, what black right. love is, and how to express it. Mm -hmm. um, that's so different from what's seen you know, on TV and movies and, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, as far as other races, it's period. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's the Brady Bunch, it's a Brady Bunch versus the Cosby's. And then the Cosby's is a way different reality than the uh, Jefferson's. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which so is a you, way different reality than Empire. Exactly. <laughs> right? So yeah. yeah, all these different, all these different kind of, um, you could say, mixtures of upbringings. And like I said, the, the black family as a whole needs the. I was talking to a, a like I said, I went to this this function. I was talking to this uh, very beautiful African American, uh, you know, young lady, and I was telling her that we need a special kind of love. It's almost like we need bubble wrap 
for us because we've been through so much. Mm -hmm. We we are very fragile. Our we our our liberty is very fragile when it comes to me. Like you know, that's another question you're going to ask us. But the liberty of, of how we love or how we need love and how it's applicated is way more different. I mean, it's like for us, it's, it's hard. It's pretty hard out there. So you and then we have a different sex drive. It's like we want more. It's like mm-hmm. you know, it's like we, you know, and then a lot of times they want it too, but then they don't want it like how we. So want. do you think that dating outside of the race can actually send the wrong message as far as breaking up the whole black family, right? And then also that it seems like black women are only good for making babies, and other ethnic groups are good for wiping up. The wrong message to who? Like, who's receiving this mm-hmm. message? Um, black people looking in, specifically black women. Black women. I don't think, no. I don't think black women look at an interracial relationship and be like, see, black women are only good for making babies, not good for wives, right? I think, I don't think, well, I don't know. But <laughs> I would say that black women are not negatively phased by, right, like an interracial relationship with. Oh, why not? I mean, because I don't think black women find their worth in, like, what I'm doing, right? Like, I think black women find their worth in the things that they do mm-hmm. and, like, the sort of drive and strength that they have. Um, and I, I, I think they might be upset, right? But I don't think their, okay, okay. their philosophy about black love or marriage or family has changed because of a decision that I made. Okay, well, let me just say that as a black woman, and Mm -hmm. then seeing, (laughs) especially nowadays, there's a plethora of interracial dating. Mm -hmm. And it seems that a lot of it, because I've only dated black men, right? So it seems like a lot of the black men are choosing other ethnic groups. Not to just date, but to also wife up. Mm -hmm. And I know that this is not anything to do with you guys personally. Mm -hmm. However, as a black woman... I want a black man too. So if everybody, and when I say everybody, I know every black man is not going over, right? But if everybody is going over, then and I want a black man too, who am I left with? Do I just say, oh, let me go ahead and just date outside my race too? Well, I don't want that though. Right. Hmm. Let me let me answer your question as far as the second half of the question where it says, mm-hmm. are African American women viewed as only for making babies and stuff? And that's 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 definitely not not not. No, you know, I think um, for one, our society has kind of diluted the whole baby making, especially in America. I mean, with the, with the, you know, you got welfare and aid and all that stuff. And I think people just took advantage of that in particular. And white, white people do it just as much as black. Mm-hmm. But they I, actually do it more They statistics. do it more statistically. So I don't think that's the issue. Um, but revising back on what you're talking about, how to do, when do African Americans see it kind of as a, you know, uh, to see, you know, uh, African American. I do think they do, they're convicted, if anything. They're kind of convicted because they say, okay, wait, what does this girl have on me? And if anything, it makes them kind of want to have the straight hair, the fake eyelashes, to try to ke- keep up and catch up with the trends that they feel that are attracting that th- their men. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the thing that I do see. I think that they're a little a tad bit intimidated and convicted of, of it. And some may be kind of distraught about it, just like, well, wait a minute, you know. I like to go draw back to where like when I was in school. It's like when I was in, in high school or what have you, you will, you wouldn't know somebody had a crush on you until you get a, a, a girlfriend. Then that, that person would come out of the world where it's like, well, I like them. And then it's like, okay, well, you should have said something, baby, because I would have gave you a chance just like I gave her a chance if you would have presented yourself. And I think that's what it is. I think if, if, if African-American women would just kind of be a little bit more uh, vocal, assertive, assertive okay, and okay. vocal, saying, "Hey, listen, brother, you you are, you are fine, but let's go out and, and have some tea and let's let's reason with each other. Not necessarily hit the sheets or or have any side of you, but let's go out and reason with each other and let's have a talk. Because that's I think that's what we need. Whether it's just oh, I met him at the club, he driving a Range Rover, and da, 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 da. us men, we are we are on to that. If you want to say we're mm-hmm. on to that, we don't want that. We don't want the superficial. We want the and me in particular. I want a virtuous woman to have depth." That we could both learn. Ground it. It was ground it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of us, uh, we, we, a lot of black women in particular, not all of them, but a lot of them, they, they're not stereotyped, but they're, they want what the TV says, what you mm-hmm. see on TV. You know, you got the big football player, you got the 
basketball player, you got the dude making a lot of money over here. You know, then that's like, okay, wait a minute. Some of us are good men. You said that's African American women? Not all, not all. But, most, but is I mean, that not just a woman thing? That's is that not a woman thing? thing? Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I think it's particularly marketed toward black people, it is. right? It like is. basketball wise, yeah. all these, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. of Atlanta, yeah. exactly. all these exactly. things, you love and hip hop, right? It's like, what they, they they want the rapper, they want the ball player, they want right. whoever, they want right? Somebody right. to make a lot of money, right. you know, and pop bottles in the club. club. They, like, let's look at my older sister. I mean, she she's very smart, you know. She had yeah, good grades, everything, you know, very smart. But you you take you want this roughneck, you want this dude roughneck, thug out on the street, you know, hard, you know. But then. That roughneck, you have a baby by that roughneck, and then he goes to jail. She don't want the treatment and all of that. Yeah, that comes now, with it. now you're gonna get the the psychological factors that come from him being in jail. He's gonna be abusive towards you. He's gonna be uh, emotionally abusive to you. He's gonna probably disown his kids. But you wanted that roughneck. You wanted that uh, thug. You know, just ah, you know. And so you get what you want. And I think if you critique it more. And kind of more culture what you want, you'll get better results. Whether it's trying to like kind of force fit the Cinderella slippers or something, you gotta critique it and kind of reason it up to what you want. Yeah, so to go back to the question, I don't think it's necessarily like, again, about the decisions that people are making to have interracial relationships as much as it's about what people are seeing, right? Like right. on TV, right? right? And like the, the media, the lifestyle, right? And people want to keep up with that, right? right? They don't want it, right? They want to keep up with the trend. And so I think that is the, the influence of um, the straight hair right, right, and all right. of that kind of stuff, as opposed to, you know, my decision to, to date somebody who's not black. I think, honestly, black men in particular, we feel the pool is shallow just as much as the black woman does. The pool is very shallow, superficial people that are really losing a lot of their value, their core values of what they even, they don't even know what they want in life. They just mm. want that hookup. Yeah. You know, yeah. They just want to hook up. And then they really kind of, if you got a lot of things going for you, you want to part ways as soon as you can because you don't want to contaminate your, your freedom and your dignity over that hookup. So that's where it gets pretty difficult. But now in the 21st century, I, I, a young man, I could de definitely tell you that. The dating world, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of intimidated and scared about it after right now going through what I'm going through. I'm kind of intimidated of what's out there and who's who mm. and what's what, you know. But you can't let that one person tank the way you look at And definitely, that's why, it's, and that's why I'm going through the process, and it's going to take time for me to go back to my core values and my, my goals and dreams, handle that first, then slowly integrate back into the dating world. And when I get out there, I'm going to be hella scared. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be pretty weary of what's out there. At the same time, I will be open to see, you know, because you can't, you can't just pretty much hide yourself. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm a good man somebody out there that would, you know, where we could see eye to eye, you know, so it's weird. I'm just, overall, the, the pool is shallow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think particularly when, um, yeah, if you do consider yourself like a good man, right, mm -hmm. like to find someone who you think of, is of equal quality, equal right. worth, all, you know, like it, agenda, you right, know? exactly, and not with all the games and this and yeah. that and the other, yeah. right, not keep about, it straight, what they say, keep it 100, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly, and that is hard to find, right, right? that is oh. really hard to find, and sometimes, but just women, period, though, or is it hard to find with black women, I think women, period, women. yeah, I would say women, period, but, Again, right? Uh, yeah, we're talking. We're speaking. Of, we're speaking particularly about African American women. So it's a woman thing, but even more with the African American woman, due to the subjects and the, and the stereotypes and the different tricks and tracks and the stuff that was was implemented on the black woman. And, mm -hmm. You know, their liberty. I believe that it's, it just makes it a little bit more. It's like adding an extra obstacle to that mm -hmm. yeah. that already kind of muddy, murky water. You're adding an extra alligator in there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's all. It's and I just want to. I'd say that we're not placing blame on the black woman either, right? Because like, right. like you said, it's about what's been put on them, right? Their bodies have been hypersexualized since, you know, 200 plus years ago, right? And so I think that, um, yeah, they that sort of erotic power, right, mm -hmm. like can be used for good and evil. Right, black women's bodies can be like yeah, hypersexualized yeah. in a way where it like belittles their power, but I think it can also be like that sort of erotic power can right. be mobilized, right. right? Like to to do some really like 
powerful thing. Powerful I mean, thing. I, like I think Michelle Obama, right? Like I'm, Michelle Obama has that sort of erotic power. Definitely, right? I like, feel that there's nothing that a, a strong black woman and a strong black man can't do. You know, you like I said, we we take that we, when they stand up together, all the chess pieces from you could say America or Bobby line the confusion falls when they choose to stand up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and live up Africa. Mm. Oh, people gonna they're gonna run. You know, people gonna run away. Not in a bad way, but they're not gonna they're not definitely not gonna wanna contend with you once you, you gather up your values and your strengths and you really hone in on what you are and who you are. Mm. And that's powerful. And I think that's what they've been trying to keep from us from day one. I mean, I was gonna bring up the whole transatlantic the whole transatlantic slavery. They it's been psychologically implanted to us about the breaking of families and black mm -hmm, homes. I mm -hmm. mean they took the black like, man like literally they, right? literally right. this is a literally figuratively systematically thing that they did to us and it worked like nobody's business. They they took the mom away from the dad. They killed the dad or they slaved him. Right? Now twenty first century that has pretty much transcended into broken homes, broken mm -hmm. families. Now they just pretty much use the prison system. Now you got majority of our black brothers in jail. Mm -hmm. And so they can't be with their kids. And then you got this this thing where the black man and fatherhood is scared. You know, when they see, it's like when you see a black man with his kid, it's something that's like nothing out of this world. I mean, when I'm with my daughter, I love every minute of it. And I, I, I never saw my real dad. Never mm -hmm. saw his face. Mm -hmm. Never saw, never put, I couldn't put a picture to him. But that in itself made me say, oh, I always want to be here for my daughter. I will never let that in, but I'm still reading with obstacles and tests. And it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, well you mentioned uh, just a moment ago about breaking up the black family. Do you think that you're actually adding to it by not being with the black woman well, and creating a black I don't, family? Honestly, like honestly what, what we went over earlier as far as when we choose our, our mate, mm -hmm. it's not based on color. It's based on love, and I choose to just follow love in itself. I'm a man that that's not ashamed to say that I'm in love with love. Okay. You know, so it don't matter what shade it is. Like I said, it could be a Martian, and she came up to me and said, "Hey, you're cute," and I'm like, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Martian. I'm just saying. No, I'm just, Be on the market, I'm Martian. Saying, I'm, trying to, no, I'm just saying I'm lightening it up, but it's true. I mean, like with me. In my particular situation, I mean, I got shot with this Cupid arrow, and I ain't gonna lie, the arrow of love that I got shot with was a painful arrow because it made me go through a lot of pain before I could even get to a good part. But then the pain that I felt stopped me from loving her the way that I wanted to love her. And then when I started to love her the way I wanted to love her, she was already, mm. okay, I don't know, you, you know, I pretty much shot my own foot off, if you want to say, just because the way that it's introduced and the way I was manipulated in my beginning. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and so we as a black people were manipulated in our beginning. Is basically what I'm trying to tell you. It's like we were manipulated in our beginning. So we need to get clarification first, and we don't need validation from nobody else. We just need clarification to know who we are first, and then uh, I don't think that we're doing a bad. I'm gonna answer your question. You said that you think that we're making it worse. I think what we're doing right now is re is good. It's reversing. It's, it's first of all, it's reasoning and acknowledging. The situation I had. Exactly. Um, there's other brothers out there that are probably yeah they're making it worse, but me in particular as an individual, I feel like no, I'm very into pro blackness. Um, I would love to you know date a black woman and and you know procreate with have a black child. I would love to do that even right now through my situation. And so I'm not gonna sit there and be the antagonist to make it bad. If anything, I want to make it better, and that's what I'm here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Right, like. We have been manipulated from the beginning, but that doesn't mean we can't imagine a different future, right? right? And what that future looks like and what that future could be. Um, and I think that, yeah, when you express love, you're expressing that sort of like need to mm -hmm. like to find that other future that's right. not so grounded in this manipulation, right. right? And so equally, you know, I, so I'm not in the, the relationship with the, the white woman anymore, right? Like I'm in a relationship with a, beautiful black woman right and like <laughs> I love it you know right, I love right, it I'm right, excited right. I'm excited about the possibility of having right. a, a real black family right right that's what I mean no but I'm excited about the possibility of having a black right, family and right, having right. black kids and mm -hmm. having the conversation with my son right. about police brutality right, right? Mm -hmm. and having right. a conversation with my daughters 
door that's plural. Whoa. Mm. What? You did oh, say that. You did. You did. You said that. <laughs> uh -oh. All right. But yeah, and so I don't think, yeah, I don't think having a relationship, like expressing that sort of love elsewhere, I don't think hurt it, right? I think okay. it made my love for my current girlfriend even stronger. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Um, that's interesting. Right. Yeah, and I think it, yeah, I, I think it will help to allow a lot of like really positive things to bloom from that relationship because love is painful man yeah, right like yeah, nah, for you me, grow it from really it really dinged me out pretty good but i like to say like i said when i went to this one party list i was talking to this channel i was like i was really feeling her but then she you know she has a kid already and she has a baby daddy and all this stuff and i have a kid and i have a baby mom so like ah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of raw but <laughs> i am like like i said once i get myself together my outlook because i ain't gonna lie what i'm going through right now it has a way of like at first at first i'm like oh my god this women period right now i'm like oh my god you know but i do want to get out there and when i if i do actually find a, a, a beautiful african-american woman i mean i dated this ethiopian girl she was very beautiful and, you know just beautiful and I'm, i let her get away it's like you know some of these certain you know i like to say god or god god will bless you with something and sometimes you may let something go and pick up that Exotic thing, I think that exotic thing good, but it wasn't what he wanted you to have. He mm -hmm. wanted you to have that. It was exotic, it was pretty, you know, it was mm -hmm. distracting. That's it. And you're like, oh, what is that? Yeah. When the thing you're really supposed to have is like getting away. Yeah, it's getting yeah. away. And that's, I've been a pretty much subject to that already. Mm. Okay. Anything else, or can we move on? We can move on. Okay. Like I found my pretty thing. So. All right, then. All right. <laughs> okay. So the other women or other ethnic groups of women that you dated, did they seem more submissive compared to when you dated black women? And if so, then, of course, example, please. I mean... Yeah, let's more get into it. <laughs> <laughs> more submissive. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I when you say submissive, define that. As a, right, exactly. Define, define submissive. Okay, so we have the stigmatism for uh, black women that we're always yelling and cussing, not being supportive, not even cooking, cleaning. I mean, a lot of the negativity that is seen upon us. Even, even just to take it a little bit deeper, they talk about that it's actually easier to bed other races of women than black women. Maybe, I don't know if it's still the same way in the 21st century. Mm. However, back in the day, mm. I used to hear brothers say that. Mm. It's one mm. of the reasons why they was uh, you know deciding what? to date outside the race. You know what, honestly, I really feel that, speaking on now in the 21st century, women in, in general have much more economical opportunities. They have much more uh, power, much more kind of waywardness to do what they want to do and go where they want to go without any men's anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's toys, there's things that can stimulate women out there, there's things that will keep them literally to where they don't need you. They don't. They don't not need you. And for them to even have you in their presence, you need to have those certain things that they want. And so, you know, when it comes to other ethnic groups and them being more submissive, I think that's more of a woman thing in general. But as far as African American women, no, I don't think they're. You know, I think I don't think that they're always ghetto and and you know, just easy just for one thing. And then I don't think that other ethnic groups are the same. I think all women have some kind of something that you know, like we were talking earlier. Like you have this when you want something, you, you know, you do whatever you want to get it. But then once you get it, your mask comes off. Right, right, right. Once that mask comes off, you see the real person. For who they are, they're ugly. They're you know, let's just keep it in that context. You see, they're ugly. So I don't, I don't think that um, other ethnic groups are submissive. However, some ethnic groups can promote or throw themselves in a different kind of fashion, and I think it makes it a little bit more. They entice themselves more to the black man just because they know our our sex. They know they they're trying to tap into our sex drive. Our you know, okay, boom. But then once you like I like to say, once you crack that nut, the all the all that goes away. Now you're dealing with that real person, and then a lot of the submission just goes out the window. Mutual respect flies out the window. Mm -hmm. All that stuff flies out the window as soon as you have that first that first you know. Well, you, you brought. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, okay. okay. So so you brought up being um, being with an exotic woman before. So right. did you? Oh, are we changing the question. Completely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, sir, you can. I just want to say, say real quick, right? Like, 
I think um, I can't remember if this was on camera, or off camera. It's now. okay. okay. <laughs> say it, say it. Um, but when we were talking about uh, the way we raise kids, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that the way we talk about raising like young black women is like you don't need nobody. Right, mm -hmm. like you do this shit by yourself, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right, like, and so mm -hmm. for someone who reciprocates, right? Exactly, exactly. It's like I, I, I want someone who's gonna like, you know, right. tell me, hey, you look good, and mm -hmm. you know, you feel needed. Right. I, feel, right, I right, do right, want right, to right. feel needed. I want to feel wanted. Right, like that. I've been raised to sort of be the provider. Affirmation. You want affirmation. I want to be affirmed. Mm -hmm.